Thanks for staying with us here on News Dex. It's now time to talk tech, and the man himself is here, Kobe Spikey. And what's up with iPhone and hardware? Yes, so you know, if you use an iPhone and you want to subscribe to iCloud, you pay monthly. Yeah. If you want to um, use Apple Music, you pay monthly. Mm. Now imagine having to buy an iPhone, not buy an iPhone per se, but owning an iPhone and paying monthly. So you're subscribing to own the hardware itself. So it's not uh, like you're paying monthly. Oh. Okay. Like not like they've given you the cost of the phone, like thousand two hundred dollars. But you need to pay for the hardware, so you could use the phone. So you're paying. You're not. You're not paying as a whole. Okay. You're paying a subscription fee. So you go. You sign up. Say, hey, I want an iPhone 15, and then they tell you that okay, for the 128 gig, you'll pay. Let's say every month you pay fifty dollars, until you want a new one. Then you bring the old one in and come and trade it in. Why? Because you know. Hardware manufacturers like iPhone or mm -hmm. Apple and mm -hmm. have realized that people buy the devices and that's it. They don't get money from them again. Oh. So which is why they introduce subscription services for a lot of things like cloud storage, like music, movies, okay. see Netflix, you have to pay mm -hmm. monthly. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you had to buy the movie. You but buy they're subscribing to too many things. Like yeah. this is an additional... So they're getting recurring money every single month. That's what they're looking for. Now they want you to pay recurring money for the hardware. So, so what happens if you decide not to subscribe? Then maybe we don't know yet, or maybe you could buy, you pay the you know the price as a whole. Mm -hmm. But if they do this, the idea is that it would cause people to get the device because at the end of the day, you're not shelling out the whole amount to get it. You're paying just a monthly you know subscription fee, mm -hmm. and if you don't pay, your phone doesn't work or something. I don't know. <laughs> but when, when is this? When is this coming? I mean, so I'm there's there's rumors that it's probably going to happen in 2024. Okay. For 2023, as early as 2023. That's yeah. Wow. That's interesting. Okay. What yes. else is happening? So, in the world of if tech? you use iMessage or you use WhatsApp or whatever, mm -hmm. you know how the difficulty is someone says, Oh, I'm not on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. And then you have to send them a message. Now, the EU is looking at passing a law that would force iMessage, WhatsApp, and all the largest messaging apps to work with smaller ones. So, interoperability in messaging apps. So imagine sending a WhatsApp message to someone. So using all of you Telegram. iPhone users who say, "Well, yeah, iMessage. I, I'm not, I, iMessage, AirDrop, all of that, please." <laughs> like, yeah, yeah I support this two hundred percent. We we all support that. <laughs> yeah. And there's a teenager who's been accused of being the behind the lapses. Uh, ransomware that's going around. They hacked Microsoft and were bragging about yeah, it. Yeah. It's a 16 year old multi millionaire cyber criminal. So there's, he's alleged to have excess of 300 bitcoins just by hacking companies and then, you know, installing ransomware, encrypting their stuff, and then taking a ransom. Wow. And his parents are in shock because they thought, we, all, we always thought he was just playing games on the computer. He had no idea what he He's was doing. He's a legend right now in the cybersecurity world, in the hacking world. Wow. But he was ousted by his own fellow hackers and some you know, cyber researchers, cyber security researchers. Reason being that they said he didn't hold his end of the bargain. So they put out his real name, his social media pictures. Oh, and too bad for him. investigated. Too bad. 16 years, you say? 16. Wow. When you were 16, what were you doing? 16 years, I was in high school. I was mm. sleeping in the body now somewhere. This guy is hacking Microsoft and the rest. Charlie. And finally, Spotify paid 130 artists more than $5 million last year. Charlie, Spotify is, is the so real ish right now. Just streaming. This, is, this goes to tell people. You have any product, just put it there. Yes, music, podcasts, yeah. whatever it is, and people are making money. There's, there's a few gray areas though, mm. because there's rumor, there's, people are complaining that it's only the big artists that are making the money, but well, that's hey. not entirely true because I know some of our people have their stuff on there and they say it's doing pretty well. It's, I guess putting it there is one major step, but promoting it, exactly. getting it you know, available and all of that is also another. So, so don't, don't expect it to be automatic. You just put it there. That is it. That Great. is it. Kobe, thank you very much. Thank you Next time, I'll, we'll, we'll have to put something there so we can start making some money. I have stuff there. I have a you whole do. album there. I have okay. podcasts there. That, thank you. Not this me. is why I end the conversation. <laughs> I'm on my own. I'm on my own. Kobe, thank you very thank much. You so that's it for our tech talk. Uh, up next is the Black Stars. Are we winning tonight, Kobe? You know, any team I support loses. So I support the opposing team so that. So you support Nigeria? Yes. God bless you. <laughs> we'll be back with more. Stay with us. <laughs>